Hello learners! Welcome to another enjoyable episode of our Math Time series in Learning Grade 8 Mathematics. Join me as we explore the world of numbers full of fun and excitement. I am your teacher Loreto, your virtual teacher for today's lesson. Prepare your pen and paper and learn along with me. Holiday season is coming, and the time for sharing and giving gifts to loved ones are in demand. Did you think of an affordable gift for them? I heard that it is a 3 day sale in SMCB or the Meta. Let's go and grab this opportunity to avail the different offers of discounts. I think I will buy them the trending water bottle in the city, the Aqua Flask. As I round in the SM store, the Aqua Plus has an original price of 800 pesos and is on sale at 50% discount. How much is the discount? To get the discount, we need to get a 50% of 800 pesos. As we all know that 50% means half. This means that we get the half of 800 pesos. Do you know what is the half of 800 pesos? Excellent! You are correct! The answer is 400 pesos. This means that the aqua plus is only 400 pesos. Or we can say that the 50% of 800 pesos is 400 pesos. From the given statement, 50% is the rate. Rate is also called percent which has percent sign. While 800 pesos is the base. The base is the entire or original amount usually comes after the word of. And finally, we have the percentage. 400 pesos is the percentage. Percentage is a part or portion of the base, usually beside the word is. This statement is also written as 400 pesos is 50% of 800 pesos. To identify the rate, base, and percentage here, let's take the look. If the number is, is beside the word is, that is the percentage. While 50% has a percent sign that means that is the rate and 800 pesos comes after the word of that means that is the base. Excellent! Did you know that the word of also represent multiplication while the word is represents equal symbol. This means that the rate times base is equal to percentage. That's give us 50% times 800 pesos is equal to 400 pesos. Now, for us to get the percentage, rate, and base in a problem, let us use the following formula. For us to easily remember the formulas, we will use the Peckham's triangle. If we are only looking the percentage, you may cover by your hand the letter P, which give us R times B. The formula is percentage is equal to rate times base. If the missing term is the rate, simply cover the letter R. That gives us P divided by B. The formula is rate is equal to percentage divided by base. And lastly, for the base, Simply cover the letter B. The formula is P divided by R. We have 
Base is equal to percentage divided by rate. Great! Now, you are ready to solve the problems. Let us try the first example. What is 30% of 500? The first thing that we need to do is to identify the missing term. We all know that if the value has a percent sign, there is the rate. And the number comes after the word of is the base. That means the missing term is the percentage, which is beside the word is. Now, let us write the formula. Percentage is equal to rate times base, 30% times 500. The next step is change the percent or rate into decimal. To change percent into decimal, let's change percent sign into decimal point. Now, let us move the decimal point two times to the left. Thirty percent is now zero point thirty. We are ready to multiply five hundred times zero point thirty. The answer is 150. Therefore, 30% of 500 is 150. Very good. Let us try another one. What percent of 32 is 8? First step, let us identify the missing term. Since 32 comes after the word of, that is our base. And 8, which comes after the word is, is our percentage. And obviously, the missing here is the percent or the rate. Second step, let us write the formula. Rate is equal to percentage divided by base. That's mean, to get the rate, we need to divide the 8 by 32. Now, let us divide. The answer is 0 0.25. Third step, change the decimal to percent. To convert decimal to percent, we move the decimal point two places to the right and affix the percent sign. The answer is 25%. Thus, 25% of 32 is 8. Very good! Now, let us try another one. Again, let us identify the missing term. We all know that the one which has a percent sign is the rate. Well, the number beside the word is, is the percentage. And the value comes after the word of, is the base. This means that we are looking for the base. Now, let us write the formula. Base is equal to percentage divided by rate. Now, 50 divided by 40%. Before we divide this, we need to change the percent to decimal. 50 divided by 0 0.40. Now, we divide 50 by 0 0.40 gives us 125. Therefore, the number 50 is 40% 40 of 125. Wonderful! Let us try another one. This time, we are going to solve a problem. Rina earns 168 pesos a year. If 15% of her income goes to taxes, how much of her income goes to taxes? First step, let us identify the missing term. As we all know, the one which has a percent sign is the rate. And 168,000 pesos is our base. This means that we are finding for the percentage. Second step, we will write the formula. Percentage is equal to rate times base. Rate is 15% times the base is 168,000 pesos. Third step, change the rate or percent into decimal. We have 0 0.15 times 168,000 pesos. The answer is 25,200 pesos. Therefore, 25,200 pesos of Rina's income goes to taxes. Excellent! Let us try another one. Marie earned 512 pesos for the week. If she saved 128 pesos, how many percent of her earnings did she save? First step, let us identify the missing term. 
The given from this problem are 512 pesos is our base. 128 pesos is our percentage. Therefore, the unknown here is the rate. Second step, we write the formula. Rate is equal to percentage divided by base. We need to divide 128 pesos by 512 pesos. The answer is 0 0.25. The third step, change the decimal to percent. So we have 25%. Thus, Marie saves 25% of her weekly earnings. Excellent! Let us write the last example. At a sale, shirts were sold for 100 pesos each. This price was 80% of the original price. What was the original price? Step 1. Let us identify the missing term. 100 pesos is the percentage. 80% is the rate. Therefore, the note is the base. Step 2. We write the formula. Base is equal to percentage divided by rate. So we have 100 pesos divided by 80%. Step 3, change the percent to decimal. So we have 100 pesos divided by 0 0.80. Therefore, the answer is 125 pesos. Thus, 125 pesos is the original price of the shirt. Wonderful! Now, let's have a practice exercise. You are given 30 seconds to answer the activity. Your timer starts now. Let's check. Number 1, the answer is 10%. Number 2, 10. Number 3, 600. Number 4, 1,500 pesos. And number 5 is 25%. Did you get the correct answers? Great! With that, I hope you learned something in that activity. Here are the things that you learned today. Percentage is a part or portion of the base usually beside the word is. Base is the entire or original amount usually comes after the word of. And rate is also called percent which has percent sign. To get the percentage, base or rate, use the following formula. Percentage is equal to base times rate. Rate is equal to percentage divided by base and base is equal to percentage divided by rate. We will also use the Tekans triangle to easily remember the formula. Now it's your turn. Prepare your pen and paper for your solutions. Are you ready? You may now start. Congratulations, grade learners, for a job well done. I hope you've learned a lot from this video lesson. See you next time in another episode of Exploring the Fun World of Numbers. This is your teacher, Loreto. Thank you and have a nice day.